My name is Glenn Kovac. I'm a professor of chemistry at City College. I've been teaching general chemistry, inorganic chemistry, and also physical chemistry lab for the past 13 years. And I'd like to share some of my experiences with you. What is your dream job? For me, it was to become a chemistry professor. For you, perhaps you'd like to go and become a doctor, maybe a pharmacist, maybe a dentist, Maybe you'd like to become a laboratory technician or do some work as an environmental scientist. No matter what area you choose, all of these are related to chemistry. If you pursue a degree as a chemistry major, then perhaps you will land your dream job. There are four different concentrations that you may pursue. These concentrations or subplans are the following, standard chemistry, biochemistry, environmental chemistry, and secondary education in chemistry. So let me share a little bit about each one of these areas. Students who wish to declare a standard chemistry concentration will um, typically go on to either a job directly after graduation, say as an analytical chemist, or they will go on to a master's degree or PhD degree in chemistry in graduate school. The next option is biochemistry. This perhaps is our most popular option. Students who declare a concentration in biochemistry often go to medical school or dental school or pharmacy. Or these students uh, will choose a PhD in biochemistry. We have the two other concentrations, environmental chemistry. This is actually an exciting area. We have many of the students from City College who will go and get jobs with the Department of Environmental Protection. Um, and this would be a very good option to choose for that career path. And finally, secondary education in chemistry will, if you're interested in becoming a high school chemistry teacher, if you want to have a very strong background in chemistry, you can pursue this option. Let me tell you about some of the courses that are offered in the chemistry department at City College. The very first course that you will take as a student would be general chemistry, Chem 10301. This course has a laboratory component and also a workshop component. This will give you the foundation that you will need for all of the courses beyond that. After you complete the first semester of general chemistry, we have a second semester of general chemistry. These two courses are typically taken your first year when you first come to City College. Afterwards, there's a course in quantitative analysis or analytical chemistry. This course is taken by chemical engineers and also chemistry majors. For students who are interested in pre-med and you would choose the biochemistry option, then the courses after general chemistry would be organic chemistry one and two. Then you will go on and you would take courses in physical chemistry and physical biochemistry in addition to taking biochemistry. So some of your semesters, you will be taking two chemistry lecture courses simultaneously. If you're a standard chemistry major, then you will follow a similar sequence with general chemistry, quantitative analysis, organic chemistry, and then you will see the difference in the courses. You will take physical chemistry one and physical chemistry two, which is focused more on spectroscopy, and then you will be taking inorganic chemistry typically your junior or senior year. For those who are interested in pursuing environmental science, then we have um, a series of courses specifically designed for you. One being environmental analytical chemistry and also environmental organic chemistry. And then these courses do also have laboratory components which you may or may not take. For really discussing the details of which courses you will take, please see your advisor. We have advisors to answer questions for any one of our concentrations. If you wish to pursue secondary education, you will be taking some of your courses in the chemistry department and also some of your courses in the education department. So no matter which you choose, definitely see your advisor and you can, are always welcome to come and see me. Thank you very much.